name is Victoria Rose, and I just came in from Amtrak on like a 12 hour train ride. It was so hot in there, and there's a lady that was so loud. Oh, thanks for the hydration. And it took, yeah, like I said, 12 years, but I finally got back to Pennsylvania. And I came back home because my sister's here again, and I just, I needed a bit of an adventure away from New Jersey as getting kind of complacent, as I do, tend to do a lot. And this time, kind of in a better headspace, because last time I came, I had to be here because I was going through a lot. So now, I have a couple of adventures planned for you guys. The first one being, is that we're going to go to the Amish store and I'm gonna do an Amish store haul. And I don't know if that's offensive to say, the Amish store. It, it, it is like a, an Amish Rand store. They sell Amish products, but they mostly sell dented can stuff. So I don't really know. I guess I'd call it a dented can store. But we just always grew up calling it the Amish store. And if that offends anybody, let me know. I don't think it's offensive. Uh, but I'm going to take you guys and do an Amish store haul. Um, and I know that a lot, of you, a lot of you guys are interested in the discounted stuff that you can get there. You never know what you're going to find. So we're going to go to the Amish store and do a little haul and I'll show it to you. That's gonna be the first adventure, and then we're gonna go to Cleveland, Ohio and, and visit Tiny House, and then we're gonna go somewhere in Pennsylvania and visit a converted schoolhouse. So we're going back in time again, and rightly so, as you can see. Come along, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you grew up, didn't you? Yes, you grew up. Wait, do they only take cash? Cash or checks? Do you have cash? Do you have Venmo? I don't. I only have checks. I never in one. Wait, what? <laughs> Comment below if you guys I'll have ever written one. check. <clears throat> I've never written a check, ever. The Amish store. I'm calling the Amish store. I asked them if they think that's offensive. It's offensive. <laughs> People say it in their shop all the time. Yeah, that's what I. We grew up saying that. I just but like they're not gonna say anything. Well, let's let's think about if, if we were in their shoes. Hey, let's go to the y Yankees store. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, Amish product. It sounds very childish. You know, you can only pay with cash and check. Right, let's see if this car is fixed. And then Tansy fixed her own car, and I shouldn't even know anything about cars. <sighs> now we're gonna see what they have here. I just have to figure out a way to film because all my shots don't really want to be filmed. How's the car sounding? Good. Check. Her your, your checkbook. <laughs> my favorite part about this store is they have a lot of vitamins, but you never know which ones they're gonna have. This time they didn't really have anything that I wanted or needed. So since the Amish do not use electricity, these stores also have no electricity. This is beautiful packaging. <laughs> yeah, I, I buy things for the packaging. As you can see, there is a lot of window light, so when it is dull outside, it's kind of dull in the store. Look for some good energy drinks. Aha. The reason the food is so discounted because it's either expired or there's dents in it, or the store just didn't wasn't carrying the product anymore. Got a couple. I've never really had an experience where I've not liked the product because it was too expired or it went bad or anything because this packaged food lasts a really long time. This particular one sells um, boxes of bars and snacks for really cheap prices. I didn't get any this time. And also since they do not have electricity, the cash register has to be done manually. So all the prices have to be put in by them. Mm -hmm. 
these stories aren't exclusively run by the Amish. I just, I've never been to one that wasn't, but I'm sure that there's other owners as well. A good price, organic quinoa for 25 cents. Yeah. I don't really want to eat it, but. <laughs> quinoa's one I know, quinoa's one of those things, you're like, I should, you get it. It's like, I should eat this. So you just, you have it in your cupboard for eternity. You can just wait for me. Aside from the food and snacks and stuff, they also have personal care items. And then they also have bulk items, which are not expired or anything, but they are uh, made in bulk. And this, these are the products that the Amish usually also buy. So we just checked out, um, there wasn't as much stuff as I wanted, like I wanted to get like, they usually have like makeup and lots of cool vitamins, but they didn't have as much. They just had a lot of probiotics, but I already have probiotics. So I'll show you what I got back at the house, so I'll probably go again. My cold brew. So uh, I got this really weird, and there's probably a reason this was at the dented can, cranberry blueberry cold brew coffee. Let's pretend we don't know. I'll, I'll be surprised. <gasps> well, we thought you weren't going to get it. <laughs> So my sister just got her permit. <laughs> and I probably would have gotten a lot more stuff if I was staying here longer, but I'm not staying here that long. So anyways, I'm gonna show you. So I got this Good Belly probiotic cereal for 50 cents. These chocolate covered almonds, which I liked. I've gotten them before. You can't really see anything. Yeah. Um, this, these ones are okay. They're not that quote unquote healthy. Uh, but I got several, I, I got some sunblock. I like to get it there because um, I always put sunblock on my tattoos, and this was sparkly sunblock. <laughs> That's two bucks, so it's probably the most expensive thing I got. I thought this was really interesting. Cute. The real fruit thingies with spirulina, so it's just fruit and spirulina. Oh, what's, what's in here? All right. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Right, these go-go squeezes, four of them for 25 cents. I don't know, I just really like them. It's very comforting and soothing to me. Mm. Stuff like I was thinking maybe we could stop at an actual Amish store where they sell Amish made things, but a lot of the ingredients they have there at that store is ingredients that the Amish use to make their recipes and stuff. And I know all of this because I used to be very, I used to be with someone who drove Amish and their family was very heavily involved in the Amish community. Sorry. That train ride, for some reason, made my voice really strange. The heat was on the whole 11 hours, really high, and it just dehydrated me. Um, I got this Fuel for Fire 12 grams of protein smoothie, which was interesting. I'm sure these things won't taste very good, but I needed protein while I was here. Oh, that's the mom. Talking to my um, YouTube. And I got these wraps, black bean and citrus tortillas, 25 cents, six grams of protein, yeah, protein each. Um, I got <laughs> protein water, <laughs> which sounds really disgusting, um, but we'll try it. It is lemon. <sighs> I annoyed myself just by doing all that. I hate eating on camera. It's one of those things like, in all, I spent around $10 for all of this stuff. Oh, I got, I got like a can of sippy soup. I got some oatmeal. Oh, I got um, five bars. I could have gotten a whole box for five dollars like I did before. I think I've showed you guys that in the video, but I, I don't want the whole box of bars. I'm not here long enough, and also it's a lot of sugar. Even if they are protein bars, um, but I got five of them for a dollar. So yeah, some more kinds of energy drinks. And then I also got this cold brew. That's what you can get for 10 bucks. Got some gaming cards, what? <laughs> I'm gonna try out my drone. I've been waiting for a very long time to try out my drone. Look kind of like this that I absolutely abhor the idea of slavery. 
But I'm telling this is a historical document. What are you doing? That's yeah. interesting. And so we're, we're going to say P H I. What did I say? I L I A. It's either Philia. I L I A or I L S. Five hundred dollars for a young girl named twenty years old. Her name might be Philia. Now I got to go look at Philia. Adventures of. <laughs> I can't finish my other store video, so I have to put something in here. <laughs> All right, so this is a, what, what time would you estimate this being from? We're gonna open up this year 10. Mom, maybe you put in our skincare stuff. Ew. <laughs> Are we gonna do that thing, Mom? Don't hurt yourself. Is it worth it? Are gonna smell it? Oh, it smells like intense rust. Ask mom what is this. Mom, what is this? Come here, mom. I open this can, mom. Scrape some of it with the knife. <laughs> mom. Minute. Mom, come here. We don't try the. What is it? The salve, like for your bad sores in your hands and stuff. It's not that old. It's pretty old. Old salve. Seth. Seth. Another day. <laughs> Hi. So I made this for my mother. It is a face cream that's made out of wheat germ oil, sh organic shea butter, rose water, and frankincense, but it turned out really sloppy and goopy, but she said she's gonna use it anyways because I made it, but she doesn't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, hello. This whole video was supposed to be kind of Amish themed. And I realized that now that it's kind of um, Good Friday and the weekend of Easter and I have to leave on Easter, uh, nothing's open. So I was going to go to an authentic, actual Amish store where they sell Amish made products, but everything's closed now. And I'm sorry, I really wanted to make kind of like a, like celebrating the culture of the Amish, but alas, I couldn't. And I feel like I have disappointed you guys. But I did go to the thrift store and I got a bag of things I wanted to show you at the thrift store haul. I got this little bracelet and this bracelet. I got a new coat and it actually fits really nice. It's not really my typical style, but you guys tell me what you think. And this is probably like less than five bucks. Not bad. Hmm? Oh, it comes with a scarf too. So this will be my springtime coat. I took the shoulder pads off of this and I, I don't know if I'm even gonna take this home with me because it's ridiculous. But <laughs> I thought I could do something with it, but now I just now that I see it, it just definitely looks like very tacky. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you wear it? It's like it has like hyenas on it. Ready for a parody? No, I'm not. I'm not taking this with me. Uh, then I got a nightgown, but I left it out there. And is... then you just put this over top of it. I really can only sleep in like silky materials like this. So I get um <laughs> I get nightgowns from like thrift stores. And yeah, maybe they're owned by old ladies or whatever, but they're really comfortable and classy. Now um, my mom's trying to pot a succulent for me to take home. I'm trying to get creative with it, so let me show you that. Well, you Do you like my shirt? Do you like my shirt? Mom made a nut bread. My mom also made some pickled eggs. Yeah. Alright, so I taught her to give nice little Therapeutic hugs. Hi. No licking. And do a hug now, okay? Calm down. That's right. That's right. And you can give the best little hug. My mom took this book end that was a globe, and she had um, it cut. And then she put the succulent inside of it. Isn't that cute? That's the end of this video, but I have one more Pennsylvania video for you guys. So stay tuned. I love you very much and stay extraterrestrial.